Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this piece of gear right here. This is the Vertex EDC Gamut Bag. I've actually had this in for probably a year and a half now for review, so I've used it a good bit. It's actually in excellent shape, which is kind of shocking considering all the places this has been. So if you guys have seen me out at either SHOT Show, NRA, any of the major shows, at any of the YouTube shoots or anything like that, this is the bag I've had with me again for the past year and a half. I've been using it all the time. Pretty much everywhere I go, it's been sort of my EDC bag going as a carry-on on flights and all sorts of other things. Uh, a couple reasons for that I'll get into a little bit later, but number one, it kind of doesn't look super tactical, which I do like, and it has a pretty good capacity. I think the max capacity of this is 28 liters, um, but considering how small it is, um, that's pretty impressive in my opinion. So we're going to get into the actual bag, um, what all the different pockets and pouches and all that stuff are, and then at the end we'll let you know what we think of it overall. To me, when I look at this bag, the thing that really stands out about it is that it doesn't scream tactical. So I think for sort of the gray man concept, if you will, uh, this is a great bag for that. And although it does have a lot of tactical type capabilities, it also has a lot of great everyday carry, everyday use type uh, features as well. So we'll try to cover all that here. I'll probably leave some out because it really is feature loaded. But up front, you can see we have our quick access pouch. So we have some uh, Velcro down here. Again, you could use it for just about anything. And then we have the material here that expands out if you really want to stuff this front pocket full. But the front pocket, again, designed for quick access. You can either grab this little pull tab and pull, or you can reach up in there and pull like this to get a better um, sort of grab on it, if you will. But you pull it open like that. Here we have the molly webbing underneath. Again, not shown to the outside world, but you know it's there. So you can break anything up, uh, magazines, um, anything. I mean, really, any kind of pouch that you can put through molly webbing, this will handle just fine. You can put your pouches, patches on there as well, should you choose to do so. But that is the front compartment, basically, and how it works. Getting into the main compartment is pretty easy, and it opens all the way up, which is also really nice. So uh, basically, we have our zipper here. We'll zip this one down, this one over. Um, and if you set it up so that way you actually button down these buttons here on the sides like so and this one's already done what you'll have here is a flap that allows you to sort of reach in but it's not going to swing all the way open if that makes sense it's hard to do under a camera here but you guys can see kind of how that works there so uh, once we unstrap these buttons on each side you can pull it all the way open and you'll see there Lots of generous room on the inside. The same thing here on the back side of the uh, of the actual opening. So this piece here is compatible with any sort of Velcro. So if you want a Velcro, again, mag pouches on there, cell phone pouch, anything like that, uh, feel free to do so. It'll work just fine. In here we have the mesh separating. So for me, when I'm out at shows or something like that, I put a lot of business cards in here, pens, things like that, that I constantly am using. And then we have a second pouch that's almost identical in terms of size. And again, we have the material here on the back that you can put anything Velcro that your heart desires on there. Same thing here on the inside of the back. And again, another mesh pouch. Put anything in there, pens, map pens, um, anything you need to be able to identify in a pouch should go in there just fine. And in here we have a pouch which will accommodate a 15 inch laptop. Um, there's plenty of other things you can put in there as well, any sort of magazines, which I've used it for in the past, but here is a 15 inch laptop and you'll see it fits in with no problem, plenty of room. So there is that. On the top of the bag, we have this little pouch here, which you can open up. It also has this little thing right here, which is great for me. Um, when I'm traveling and I don't want to lose my keys, I just clip my keys in there and that way they always stay where I put them and you can't lose them. So. Pretty generous little pouch in there. It has the sort of uh, mesh type material for water resistance. So if you put something in there, if you're out in the rain walking, let's say you can feel relatively confident it's not gonna get soaked. Of course, if you submerge it, yes, it will get soaked, but uh, it's gonna be at least water resistant due to the material on the outside of the pack and the inside of that pouch. The side pouches here on the pack are pretty similar on each side. The only difference is this little bungee is just on the right side of the pack as you look at it. Other than that, the left side is going to be pretty much the same. So you can put, say, like a water bottle in here, and uh, it'll it's sort of a little bit of a stretchy fabric, so it'll have some sort of tension on it. Then you can tighten it down with this actual bungee to be as tight as you want it or as loose as you want it. What I like is that you can, with a water bottle, say, loosen it up a little bit and then put this end over the cap if it has a cap like that and that will really keep it in place. So of course we have an additional 
piece here if you want to hook something to there that's on like a D-ring or something like that, feel free to do so. Again, this other side is pretty much identical. And then the pockets are zippered, again with YKK zippers. They open up and they're gonna have a bunch of different compartments again, uh, which is nice. So you can put something in there. It's about the size of an iPhone 7, this little inner uh, pouch. My iPhone 7 does fit in there just fine. Um, and then we also have another hidden pouch here. Um, which you could store anything in there, you know, let, let, let your heart uh, go wild and your desires go wild. Say like a, a magazine you could put in there and have it secure, but you can still sort of see through there and know that it's in there when you're searching through your bag thinking, where did I put my magazine? It's apparent. The back side of the pack has a ton going on. It's very uh, well thought out, well designed. First and foremost, you can see the uh, mesh padding there on the inside of the straps, as well as going all the way up here. And it's padded and has the mesh here on your back, so that way it's gonna do a decent job, at least better than nothing anyway, of uh, letting air flow through there and keeping you cool. Um, I've found that over the years, really, if you're out in really hot weather, there's not a whole lot you can do. You're gonna sweat and it's gonna get wet. That's kind of how it is. But for mild stuff, it does help for sure. On the top of the pack, we have the uh, pull strap there. Very good threading all the way around. No issues there. Uh, I would imagine you could get this thing really heavy and this thing's gonna hold up. It appears to be done very well in terms of the carry handle. So I like that. I also like the carry handle being close to the actual um, straps and not up here on the opening part. That's a personal preference thing, but I like that. Um, really the reason for that is if you just grab it real quick, you're not, you don't risk opening the bag accidentally. So that is a nice feature, at least according to me anyway. Then you can see our shoulder straps. They're about average width. Um, some folks may want something a little bit wider if you're gonna be carrying a heavier load. Uh, wider, of course, is better, but I find them to be fine for most tasks. We have the loops here if you want to, again, attach D-rings or anything like that, tie something down on there, you certainly can do so. Same thing here. Um, and then we have the chest strap. So again, if you're carrying a heavier load, you can tighten it down across your chest and uh, it will help distribute the force of the load. And then this, both of these uh, pack, or these straps rather, do come off. So you have a quick attach feature for actually removing it and you can store them in here. And you can also store our waist strap, which we do have here inside if you want to. If you don't want it flapping around, you can put it behind the padding there and put it all the way down. So that certainly is nice. And uh, then we should get into this. We have this, uh, again, most of the pull tabs here have the little Vertex logo on there and appear to be some sort of, I don't know, it's not like a, it kind of looks like a paracord, but thinner, if that makes sense material. But if you leave this all the way open, you can pull this giant one here to close it if I can actually do it, or open it very quickly. And then that will reveal what we have back here. So a lot of folks like to use this to carry a concealed firearm. Uh, that will certainly do it just fine. Uh, again, if you're right-handed, that's how we would have it set up here, which I am. So you could swing it around to your side and then just draw your pistol out and engage as need be. And this is actually a hazard for um, universal holster. Vertex makes one that's pretty much identical. I just don't have one. I have a Hazard 4 one, so that's what we're using there for the demo. But it's also good to show, I was earlier I was discussing all this material is adhesive to Velcro, and that is no exception. So of course you can put anything back here. You can put a computer back here. Again, it would fit just fine. Uh, we have this sort of reinforcement panel back here, which helps keep the pack in its shape. You could take that out, I guess, if you wanted to really trim weight, but then you're going to lose the rigidity of the pack. Um, I personally wouldn't do that, no, me personally. You could also put an armor panel back here if you wanted to, maybe some light pistol armor or something like that. It would fit and work just fine in that role, and you'd actually still retain the ability to draw your pistol or mount something up there um, because there really is plenty of room back here. Couple things we didn't mention. Number one, the material is a Cordura material. And again, it is water resistant, like we mentioned earlier. It is not uh, waterproof though. So just keep that in mind again. And I can already see the comments happening down there. If folks don't keep that in mind. Um, but overall, really like it. Um, the only thing I could think of is if in terms of improvement, if I could, um, it's just again, wearing it for very long periods, like say the NRA show or something like that. I would kind of like these shoulder straps to be just a little bit bigger, particularly up top. Um, just to distribute the weight a little bit better, but most folks are not going to put all the gear that I have in there in terms of camera gear and all that stuff. I mean, when I'm walking around and shot, this thing probably weighs 35 pounds. 
Um, so most people are not going to carry that much day to day in their packs. So that's kind of the only improve, if you will, for this pack that I can think of, but I do like it. It could do anything from backpacking to everyday urban carry, you know, for folks who are busy professionals on the go, it would kind of fit in with just about anything. I do like that a lot about it. And it has just a lot of capability in it as well. Um, price wise, it's not cheap. Uh, Vertex stuff is very well made and uh, they know it. <laughs> so this pack, I think, if you look around online, is going to go for anywhere from like 160 I think, is the cheapest I've ever seen it, all the way up to $200. So not cheap, but again, I've used this pack a good bit and uh, abused it, and it's just barely showing any signs of wear. The stitching is held, holding up really well, and uh, that would be really the only downside, I said, is a little bit thicker in the uh, shoulder straps, but other than that, I think it's an excellent pack all the way around. It served me well. The only reason I'm actually doing this review is I just got a new pack into reviews. So we have to put this one aside and get the new stuff uh, in the use uh, usage uh, cycle, I should say. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about the pack, anything else like that, you can always post down below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. That is the best place to get in touch with me. I tend to see those comments more there than I do here on YouTube in full 30. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For those of y'all that are already subscribed, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.